Okay guys, it's Richie from Fat Junkies and we are back. Um, we've got a great video this week again, um, a product video coming, um, gear review. We are going to be looking at Mac Foley um, guitar products, pre-CBS wines. Um, for you guys who haven't come across Mac, um, I would suggest checking him out. He certainly knows his stuff, he researches hard, he's got his pickups in some serious players and pro players, you know, a lot of people use and endorse his products um, and rightly so because they are very very good. Um, what usually gives a aftermarket boutique wine away, uh, calling themselves pre-CBS in my experience, is when they're under load. You can get some great wines um, from builders that do sound almost indistinguishable against a pre-CBS, but the minute you put them under load they'll thin out um, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's that wire's been in there for so long and old pickups that um, they just hold a bigger sound under load. I'm not sure what it actually is, I don't know the science behind it. I'm not smart enough in that area to tell you either. Uh, maybe Matt could. Um, but they usually, they'll thin out under load and can get quite brittle. Um, and I've tried a lot of pickups, you know. For those guys who've been with me for a while, you'll, you'll know that. Um, like I saw, just searching for tones. Um, I had my pre-CBS in for a long time and I kind of went off the sound um, and was just searching for something else, I've tried loads and you know there's lots of good builders out there at the minute. Um, but when Mark sent me these and I got them in straight away and the first time I plugged in, just being really true of it, I think I recorded it actually the first time I plugged in, hopefully I can drop that in, the bell was there, clean, it was you're splitting hairs between them and my pre-CBS, you literally are. To my ears, if you would blindfold me, I would be hard pressed to be able to tell which ones are which. Um, maybe some of you guys out there could, but me personally I couldn't. Clean, they, they are indistinguishable. Um, so I've also now got them under load. I've got a Texas Ranger in there in front, plugged in and got a few of my favourite settings and it didn't thin out. For those guys who wanted to know, it definitely didn't thin out. You, you can tell more of a difference that they are perhaps not authentic pre-CBS under lows, but when I say small difference, it's very, very small. There's probably, in a pre-CBS pickup, there's probably a bit more thickness under load, but splitting hairs. That could be mojo, that could be placebo, that could be a bit of snobbery, which I try not to be, you know? Um, I've got pre-CBS and I ain't your preaching that you must have that to obtain tone because there's plenty of great players out there who don't have pre-CBS who, who have great tone, right? Um, but all that being said, I've tried other wines that are meant to be pre-CBS. They've never got as close as these. These pickups stay true to how pre-CBS sound. They're bell-like, articular. Um, they feel old, they sound old. There's not much more to say, you know, um, you got to check them out, these Mac Foley guitar products, pre CBS wines. As always guys, if you could like, subscribe and share where you can, um, helping me build my channel, you know, uh, and get me further up the feed. I'm going to keep bringing you these videos, um, the more interaction I get, the better my videos do. Um, I'm just searching for tone like all you guys, you know, and, and looking to share as much as I can with you along the way. This is Richie from Fred Junkies, let's get into the tones. Okay guys, uh, we are going to run through the pickup selector, I'm going to play a simple chord uh, or a couple of chords and just run through from the neck all the way through to the bridge and back. I might play something else and select through them as I'm going, okay? But this is set clean now. My vibral verb is on volume 3, treble 6, bass 5, reverb 3 and bright switch on. So I run quite cl uh, bright anyway, so let's get into it, okay? Neck pickup.
Okay guys, so now I'm going to put them under a bit of a driven sound. Um, I've put the amp up to 5. Um, I'm using the hot plate now to take some of the um, volume down. And then I've put a Texas Ranger in the, in the chain. And my guitar pot is on, going to be on about 6, 7. Um, I'm just going to get that kind of driven sound that, uh, that is really desirable um, with these kind of pickups. You know... Um, kind of Stevie Sace-esque, you know, uh, tongues. So I, again, I started the bridge and worked my way through. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 